In this video, we want to talk about the smell test, in particular the Burghardt sniffing sticks, or also known under their new name, the Odofin sniffing sticks. These smell tests are uh, done with sniffing sticks. There are different sniffing sticks smell tests, and I want to go briefly through them to show the differences and the possibilities. First of all, we have the most basic screening 12 test. This is a smell test with 12 sticks. Each stick contains an everyday odor, such as uh, apple or uh, fish. And the, the, the job for the test person is to identify the odor. The test person receives a multiple choice card with four answers and a pen. You can just pull off the cap, the test person has to smell it and they have to give an answer. So they have to choose with, with, uh, from four answers, they have to choose one of the others. It's a forced choice test, so they have to choose something. Even if they don't smell anything, they have to choose. This is the most basic test and is also available in a children's version. It's also with 12 odors. But in this case, uh, the odors are more uh, recognizable for children. Another difference is that the answering cards are not with uh, text, but with images of the possible odors. This test can also be used for people uh, who cannot read or uh, if there are troubles with uh, language, then you can also use that one. Then on this side, we have the more extended test, with which exists out of three different smell tests. First of all, the identification test. Uh, with this test, the job is the same as the screen 12 test. The test person has to identify the right odor. It's the same, you, the test person receives an answering card with four answers. They have to choose the right answer. Of course, this all will be delivered with the answering pad, uh, evaluation for materials, answering cards. So it's the complete set, the holder. The next one is the discrimination test. And with this, the test person uh, has to decide which odor is different from the other. Each time the test person uh, will uh, get three sticks from which one is different than the other two. It's the job of the test person to identify the different one. So you can determine if someone can discriminate between odors. As you can see it's 16 uh, odors so 3 gear 16 uh, pens will be offered. The last one is the threshold test. In this case we have the threshold test with the uh, smell of 2-phenyl uh, ethanol, it's a rose smell. And with this test it's the job of the test person to identify uh, an odor and to determine to which extent someone can smell. The test will start with no concentration and will build up to the higher concentrations until the test person can smell something. When a test person smells uh, the odor twice in a row, then that's the start position of the threshold test. Uh, this threshold test is available in the uh, 2-phenyl ethanol version, also in the n butanol version. Of course, it's important that with the discrimination and the threshold test, that the test person wears a mask because we both test the target pen, which is different. It's the green one with the discrimination and the red one with the threshold test. And you don't want the test person to uh, see which uh, color the sticks have. So it's important for these two tests that the test person wears a mask. Other uh, frequently asked questions are how many times can you use these smell tests? Well, you can use them for as many persons as you want, as long as you uh, don't uh, 
go uh, beyond the expiration date. As you can see, each tick has the expiration date printed on the side. So if you use the sticks right, you can use them as many times as you want before that date. The date depends on which test you are using, but normally it's like a year and a half, two years. Uh, for the threshold test it can be a little bit shorter. Besides that, you can store the smell test uh, just at room temperature, avoid uh, direct sunlight of course, and you don't have to store them in a refrigerator. Uh, the delivery time for most of the tests is, uh, is very uh, fast because we have a lot of stock of the smell tests. So if you want to receive an offer for a shipment to your, uh, to your country, please let us know so we can include the shipping cost. Uh, we have a lot of experience with the smell and taste tests, so if you have any qu questions about smell testing, taste testing, or if smell training, please let us know. We will be happy to help you. You can reach us on www.smelltest.eu or you can send us an email on info at medisense.nl. Thank you for watching this video and I hope we can get in touch.